Hi, I'm Sarah with Dandelion Seeds Positive Parenting, and these days we need a connection more than ever. We feel like we have talked about everything there is to talk about with our families, and sometimes we need a little help finding new and creative ways to stay connected. So here are three fun things you can do at the dinner table or wherever you want to, to foster that sense of connection and community, even within your own home. So one thing that we like to do is make up a story together at the dinner table. So the way we do this is each person at the dinner table contributes one line to the story and you go around the table growing and growing the story together and you end up with all sorts of silliness. So for example, I, the mama, might come up with the first line of the story. Once upon a time, there was a king in the kingdom of serendipity, and he loved to play tennis. And then I would pass the story to the next person in line, who would add something and then so on and so forth around the table. And again, you end up with all sorts of hilarious stories that you can share together and it is sure to be a good time. Another game that we play often at the dinner table but can be anywhere, sometimes this works really well in the car too, is the game of Would You Rather. That is obviously not one that I made up, but it's a fun one to revisit with kids. Obviously for children, you want a clean and lighthearted version of it. So you might say something like, would you rather ride a hippopotamus through the jungle or would you rather fly a purple airplane across the sky. The more imaginative you can make it, the more fun it is. And that is something that kids can play from a really young age. And it's a great way to involve the whole family in a fun connecting discussion. The third and final suggestion that I have for you, you can do one of two ways. I call it the happy memory game. In the happy memory game, everybody takes turns sharing a happy memory that they have about time you spent together as a family or perhaps about one member of the family, even if it means a story before the child was born or just some way to help the child feel connected in the active memory making process with the family. But here is another twist that you can put on it that is a lot of fun to do as well. You can do happy almost memory game where you make up something real. Well, you don't make it up. You share something real that happened, but then you make up part of the story to make it a very silly tall tale and kind of like the storytelling, sometimes you build upon it and next thing you know, you have a story that is based on a real life event, but you've managed to make it fantastic and exceptional in some really entertaining way. One example might be, here's a true story. Here's part of it that I can share with you. Once upon a time, I took a ferry boat to an island off the coast of Australia. And there I saw, so up till that point, it's true. But my child might add, might saw a dinosaur. And then we can continue the story in whatever silly and fantastic way we want to. And we can do it round robin or we can just make it up as we go along. But it's a really fun way to get started with memory making and then make it silly. So I hope these tips help bring some joy to your family and some connection to you. And I will see you again soon.